continuation of our study of evil. And what better time to do evil than what what the world's going through today. And we just passed coming through whatever you want to say how the coronavirus. And right now in America everybody's all upset with riots and racism. But I'm sorry to say that's not worldwide epidemic. And we can't point to American racism and rioting in the streets to a sign of the times because you can't even find America in the Bible. I'll tell you what's going on with America. It's evil. Exactly what this study is doing. America is getting evil because of the sin that she has done. America is getting what violation of what the Bible teaches. These young kids, when the Bible says to correct your children and spare not the rod, and Dr. Spock and your educated philosopher and your school system and your DCF and your child protection agencies and a child can call the cops when uh, he's got a complaint against his parents and a child can sue his parents in court and win and the violent video games and not allowing God in the schools, God of the Bible, not the Catholic God, the Muslim God, the Hindu God, and all the other gods. I'm not allowing prayer in the school. I'm not allowing the Bible in the school. Allowing evolution. Allowing falling gods and goddesses in the schools and the Native American gods in the schools and teachings. And it had nothing to do with the Bible and nothing to do with Bible preaching and nothing to do with creation in the school system, both public and private. And time out. And I'm going to count to five and I'm not going to do nothing. All right, you, you had such a sissy fit for two Second, I'll get what you want now. The sign of the times is not America in the children and the races rebellion. That is the offspring of the be not deceived, God's not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth that he shall also reap. We've got children, it's only going to get worse because we've got children today who don't even have an idea who their father is coming up on a day called Father's Day. And it's sorry that they weren't even to think about get a card for their dad on Father's Day. They would have to go to the, to the, to the, the, the place in the store where the cards are. And by the sleeping around of their mother, they would have to buy every card in that store. And hopefully they get the right one. And I'm not being cruel, I'm not being cheap, but that's also what the sex education of the school system was and is. And all these children without parents and all these children without cares and all these abortions is because you sent them home with a homework assignment in sex education. Now, if you were stuck to what the Bible teaches about sex, the marriage bed, and if it's outside the marriage bed, it's fornication, and it's adultery, and it's a sin. I get mad when I go to church and come home from church. There's a billboard, I think, well, almost, I think it would be halfway. And it's a lawyer group, and it's advertising divorce, and it says, had enough? Yes, we're talking about evil, and we'll move on. Psalms 52. And our subject presently is about good versus evil. 
America is not going to get the good anymore. She's not going to be blessed by God by how she has raised the children. And then don't turn around and say, oh, this is the sign of times and, and Minneapolis is, is being overpowered and burned. And they're going to get rid of the cops. No, that is a Galatians 6-7. That's not a sign of, of the rapture of the church. You have not taught the Bible principles of creation. You've taught evolution. You have not taught the Bible principles of marriage, uh, marriage bed, adultery, fornication. You have taught the children they have freedom to do whatever they want, but you have not taught responsibility. You have taught them they are allowed to scream and yell, kick and stab and, and abuse their teachers in the, in the classroom and the principals at the schools. So why would they not treat the police department with respect due to the blood, due, due to the badge? Now, I know there are bad cops. That's not the point. It's the badge. Now, we're talking about evil, and we're in an evil society in America, but this is not the coming of, of the Antichrist, and this is not coming of the, the you know, the rapture of the church. This is because America has sinned. America is reaping what she's sowing. She has taught her children foul. She has not taught her children the Bible, and congratulations, America. Congratulations, Dr. Spock, who your own children sued you, I have been told. Congratulations, philosophy in the public school system. Congratulations, state agencies taking children away from homes. Congratu congratulations to the violent video games and the pornography. Congratulations. The shooting, the rioting is all a bond You not having any authority allowed by God, Jesus Christ, and the Word. Racism? You didn't teach the kids in school that the colored man in Egypt treated the Israelites. Let me read to you. Stay in Psalms. Look at Exodus. Let me read to you what the Bible says. All right, and you don't see Israel revoking. You don't see Israel on the on the uprise. Exodus chapter one. And where I want to read. Eleven. Exodus one eleven. Therefore they, the Egyptians. Did set over them the Israelites taskmasters to afflict them with burdens, and they built Pharaoh's treasure cities, Python and Ramesses. And verse 13 And the Egyptian colored people made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. But then again, this racism. Of the African American is only America because there are black cops killing black citizens in South America. And yet, why is there never a racial riot of white people when a white man is killed in Chicago by a, a gang of black people? Why is there never a riot when in Harlem a white girl has been wet raped by a colored, colored, colored man? Why does the media not print the whole truth and nothing but the truth? So help me God. Well, they, first of all, they don't know what the truth is. And number two, they don't know who God is. So relax. America is only going to get worse because she rejected God in the principles. The evil Americans get is because they have kicked God, Jesus Christ, and the Bible out. 
and they brought in evolution, Dr. Spock, philosophy. I mean, listen, a head shrink. The Bible says it's not your head, it's a heart condition. The Bible says it's not a drug problem, it's a heart problem. And you can't solve it with a doctor. You've got to solve it with the cross of Calvary. The Bible says, correct thy child, spare not the rod. So relax. It's only going to get worse in America. America rebelled against the, the king of England for tea tax. America revolts over taxes. And the Bible says in Rebel, uh, Romans chapter 13, pay your taxes. America Christians today, I hate Obama. I hate J Janet, uh, whatever, Polisky. I hate, uh, I hate them. But we love Donald Trump. Donald Trump for God. And there are Christians that love Donald Trump. Donald Duck. Yeah, okay. There are Christians that love Donald Duck more than they do God. And don't tell me I see their face posts. Their face posts, their Facebook posts are more about Donald Duck than it is about God and Jesus Christ. God's right. Okay, fine. I'll let Donald Duck solve the coronavirus. I'll just step back and let, let the sinful man take care of it. You don't want to seek me. You want the scientists and all that. Okay, next step. Children, revolt against your parents. According to the scriptures. Now handle that one. And what's going to be next? I don't know. And churches and pastors, we're going to have revivals. You're absolutely not correctly going to have a Bible. And your church is not even open. Or made just as in a time of crisis evil this is evil study this is extra information you don't need to pay for it you want to talk about evil we just came through a worldwide disaster called coronavirus and what did the church do they shut their doors and they went on facebook and they went on youtube whatever happened to preaching against the internet how wicked the internet is listen i have been on the internet I have been on SoundCloud, I have been on YouTube since October or November 2010. I'm doing the Facebook Live because it's available. I haven't done this just in spite of the moment. I've been doing it for 20, 10, 10 years. Wow. I've been doing this for 10 years. Internet ministry. And we're talking about evil. And there's evil all around. Because the United States told God, take a hike. But we're going to keep in God we bless and God we trust, which is nowhere found in the Bible. We're going to say, God bless us. And we've got every God but Jehovah and Jesus in the school. And now when we walk in a courtroom, we don't take no oath of a Bible. And you can't have the Ten Commandments in the Bible that are, we can't have them posted in the courtroom. Okay? Well, congratulations, America. Congratulations, Dr. Spock. Congratulations to all the psychics. Congratulations to all psychology. Congratulations to evolutionists. You reap what you're going to sow. And this is only the beginning. And what's happened in America, the Bible doesn't care about America. It's reaping and sowing. This is not a sign of the rapture. It's, it's, it's not worldwide. So, Psalms 52, verse 3, going into our study of evil. And America's in evil. And you need to get all 17 videos, 17 audios. Because remember, evil is not a sin. Evil is a consequence of sin. And that's exactly what America and the world's getting. The consequences of sinning. Then again, evil can be a sin. 
And we talked about this over and over, tobacco. The tobacco leaf is not a sin. It's a leaf. Roll it up, dry it up, and put it in paper and smoke it. Then it becomes sin. You get lung cancer from smoking it. That's evil. Evil is drying the leaf, making a cigarette, and smoking it. When the doctor says you've got uh, emphysema, that's also evil. The consequences. So, Psalms 52, verse 3. Thou lovest evil more than good. Oh, I am, listen, I did not look at the verses. I just opened up my book where we are. And lying rather than speaking, and lying rather to speak righteousness. Now, that's not the media and politics of America and worldwide. What is? One moment our unemployment is, is is increasing, and then the next moment our unemployment is getting good and well, and all the jobs, and, and they're lying to you. There are no jobs. And then they put out, oh, yeah, now, you know, it's the biggest amount of numbers of unemployment to be filed. Well, you just said it was good. Listen, I involved in this internet ministry i know people worldwide all over the world i support missionaries i know missionaries worldwide i do not know of a single christian that has posted or at asked for prayer or knew somebody or personally had this coronavirus or knew somebody had coronavirus I think it was, I think personally it was a hoax. But what am I to say? So, it's not a good testimony for we to know evil is not good. And it's not good to love evil. And notice lying is not righteousness. Thou love is evil more than good. And there are churches involved worldwide today. They are doing evil because the world loves it. And the world is filling the plates with money as the church continually to get evil and evil. And you have not written what you have not read what Paul wrote wrote about the last days of the church men will be lovers of themselves you have not wrote you have not read what god wrote through john about revelation chapter 3 of our present day church period called the laodicea there are people out there in the world that whatever is against the Bible, and the Bible is the standard of good and evil. And when the Bible says, don't do it, it is sin. There are people out there who love to do it and love to sin. Let me give you a, let me give you a great example. Movies and television love to exploit and get money off adultery, fornication, murder, extortion, the, uh, uh, stealing, everything that the law and everything that Jesus said that was in the heart that was sin. Hollywood makes a movie or a television program and they sell money and popcorn. Pornography is a sin, but it's classified, it can be art. Where I lived in New London, Connecticut, on the side of a building, they, they, they painted the, the buttocks and, and breasts of, of women. And because it was of the Roman inspiration, it was called art. And when I wrote the local newspaper that I worked for and told them it's not 
art. It's called sin. That that editorial of mine and telling you what the Bible says and what God says and what I believe about sin and art, that article and arguments went back and forth for months. And let me tell you, more people were for the art than they were for the sin. And when I preach on the street, I get more that oppose the preaching of the gospel of Jesus which is good because gospel means good news and there are more that are liking the evil of the radio or a DJ trying to shut the preacher up the radio music and the DJ music is the evil of the devil and they love that more than they love the preaching of the gospel so the evil is not good to love doing evil when you're doing something that violates the scripture, Proverbs 15, verse 3. When you're doing something that violates the scripture, you've sinned. Man, the Bible says, look not upon a woman to lust after her in their heart, and you're looking at women in bathing suits and, and, and pornography. Looking at women in vain and suits is pornography. You've sinned against God. And yes, though you did not get into bed with a woman, it's a sin against God. When you take stuff from work because your employer is so rich and so profitable, you don't need to ask to take his goods home with you. You have sinned against God, thou hast stole. And it's wrong. It is good to ask your employer. My wife did that. My wife would ask her boss, work for a big company. She could make photocopies for stuff for our ministry or, or certain stuff. And the boss said, as long as she did it on her own time, lunch period and break period. He had her permission. I studied for the ministry when I worked at my job. I had permission to study. I was a dispatcher. As long as I wasn't on the phone, on the radio. And I stopped what I was doing when, when the driver came into my office for something. And I was not stealing from company time because the boss gave me permission with limitations and exceptions, and I follow those limitations and those exceptions. Now you go to your on your boss's time, you have not asked permission, you make a photocopy of a piece of paper, whatever it be, you're stealing time and you're stealing material. Proverbs 15, verse 3. The eyes of the Lord, a familiar passage, are on the air the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Now we're looking at good and we're looking at evil. We're looking at evil and we're looking at good. We've already studied evil, good, and good is evil. We already studied that. Now we're studying the difference. And it's not Santa Claus, but God the Father. Santa Claus is a lie and an antichrist. If there's anybody who knows what you're doing, and if there's anybody who knows if you've been naughty or nice, the Bible says it's God. And I don't care if your church teaches there's a Santa Claus. Your church, your mother, your grandparents, if they teach there's a Santa Claus, they are evil. And the Bible is correct, and you can quote me on that. The teaching of Santa Claus is evil. The teaching of God is good. And God sees both the good you do, 
and God sees both the evil you do. But notice what the verse says. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. Everywhere you go, you are not hidden from God. You can't hide from God. I don't care if you go down to the deepest ocean in a submarine. I don't care if you go to Pluto or the farthest outstream of the solar system in a spaceship. I don't care if you go into the deepest cave or go into the deepest world of coal mining. You are not hid from God. And look what it says. The eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding what God sees, the evil and the good. Notice evil is first. Why? Because we are sinners. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And we are more prone to do evil and to do good. And our life is divided in the eyes of God. We do evil and we do good. So the evil is God sees us doing. Proverbs 31, 12. Proverbs 31, 12. This is the virtuous woman a great wife, she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. The virtuous woman and the wife, and more so for a Christian wife, her conduct ought not to return unto her husband evil. And the evil would be tidings, work, feelings, the marriage in general. Neither any any time should a virtuous woman speak ill of her husband, even if it's true to anybody, but maybe a medical professional. Nor should the virtuous woman have any vengeance of character towards her husband. Nor should the virtuous woman slack her services to her husband because he did something to her. And the virtuous wife is to submit to her husband the good and not the evil, thus making her virtuous. Well, how do I know what is good and what is evil? Read and study your Bible. Study to show thyself approved under God, a workman, virtuous woman is a workman, that needs not to be ashamed, but rightly divine the word of truth. I read a stupid thing today, a Bible, a daily Bible devotion. It was about David and Bathsheba and scolding out Bathsheba and Joab. Bathsheba should never have went. The servants of David should never have gotten her. Joab should never have obeyed the order. David was the king. Now I know you can mistreat and harass the president of the United States. But in other countries, even if he's a dictator, there are people who treat their leader of their country with respect and with honor. Something America does not know unless he's your man. To be a virtuous woman is you give the good, you don't give the evil. And that would go good for also for the husband. Works on both avenues. 
So the evil is not to be mentioned any of the virtuous wife or any virtuous woman. Isaiah 41. I know this is not good teaching. This is not popular in America. I got right. I'm not going to, I had Christian women say, I'm not going to bow down before him. I, I had a Christian woman say, no, I'm not going to make him his lunch. Sister, that's your duty. And I've heard pastors say, that's not the way. Pastor, you have not read the virtuous woman. She provides the meal. I haven't studied your Bible. Uh, Isaiah 41, 23. Show the things that are to come hereafter. Show the prophecy that ye may know that ye are gods. Oh. Ye do good. Hey. Or do evil. Oh. That we may be dismayed. And behold it together. Now God's charging them. So I say, hey, listen. Show us how well you are a God. Show us right from wrong. You know, up to Genesis chapter 3, Adam and Eve did not know good and evil. What was the tree called? It was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And they partook of that fruit. Before they ate that fruit, they know the good, but they didn't know the evil. They did not know about sorrow. They did not know about curse. They did not know about weeds. They did not know about sweat. They did not know about pain. They did not know about death. They knew that God would walk in, in the cool of the day to come talk with them. They knew that everything they did was in innocent. They knew that they were naked and they enjoyed each other. They knew what a good marriage was. And without Genesis 3, they would have known what it would have been like to have a good, great family. But they partook of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God sent forth evil. But since evil is not sin, God has not sinned. Again, when I when I opened up th this evil today, it is evil the riots and the burning and the shootings and the death. That's evil. And it can also be it also can be sin, arson, murder. But the destruction and the mayhem is the consequence of not raising our American children correctly. It is the consequence of the government of the United States, from the President of the United States to the mayor of every city and town, that the public schools and the private schools have taken God, Jesus, and the Bible out. You think your president, whoever, at whatever time you're listening, if you think the president of the United States is a Christian, why don't you up it up one notch? Oh, oh I love prayer in this public school. Okay, up it up a notch. Why don't you say you can name the name of Jesus and you can bring a King James Bible and you're going to teach creation by God, Jehovah, of the King James Hebrew Bible. Let's see you have that one. And let's see how far and how long it takes you to be crucified and lose your vote. Now God brings forth evil, but God is not a sinner. So evil is something, the judgment of God. God will put sinners into hell, which is evil, but God hasn't sinned. He has sent out Christians going all the world and preach the gospel. Tell them if they don't repent, they're going to burn in hell. 
God has warned them. And if they don't listen, they're going to get evil, but it's not God's fault. He warned them. And if you're going to be God, and many people think they're God, many people think their religion is a God, some people think their race is a God, their education is a God, their title is a God. Your occupation is a god. Their sports is a god. Their, their entertainment is a god. Education is a god. So go ahead. If your god know who sins and bring evil upon their sins for what they have done. All right? Well, we can't in America. I can't say Republicans. I can't say Democrats. Because one side is for the, the evildoers and the other side is wishy-washy. But if you want to be so... you got to be a judge. God is a judge and people walk up to you and say, and you're not a judge, you just preach to God. Judge not, least you be judged. People don't want to be judged. They sure don't want to be judged by the Bible, and they don't want to be judged by God, but they will be. And we got a problem from our last study. People judge evil as good, and good is evil, and we've already looked at a state where people love evil rather than good. So if God will let you step and be a God, small g-o-d, your very nature, the eyes of the Lord, beholding every your eyes of the Lord in every place, beholding the evil and the good, the intentions of man to do evil more than good. Your godness is unholy and wicked, just as bad as Satan, the devil. And if man is wrongly given evil, which happens, then the giver of evil is a sinner and judge incorrectly. A man goes to jail, 20 years later they find out that he was innocent. That's not God in heaven. That is the, the judicial system. So the judicial system has failed. When a newspaper goes out and prints a story, and the story is false, they have played to be a god. And the consequences of that false story is evil. Thus, you're not a holy god. And when you find your soul in the lake of fire, after the great white throne judgment, God was holy and right because the last word you're going to proclaim is Jesus is Lord, professing that God is correct and you were wrong, and you take your own filthy, vile, wicked, evil godness into hell, the lake of fire. So, if you are a god, and I'm seeing videos now of, of white people bowing down before African Americans and kissing their feet. All right, we've had David Corrections, we've had proclaimed messiahs, we've had people I know. I know preachers, they're the next best thing to God, Jesus Christ. I know Christians, when they go into church, God is pleased because I am here. Alright? Do 
then show evil and show the good. And many, if not all the ways of them people, they actually show the evil, thinking to do good. That, my friend, is, is a fallen God. That's not a holy and righteous God. He say, well, if God in heaven, why did he allow a man to go to jail and he didn't do his crime? He didn't allow it. Man did. And when we go off to the judgment seat of Christ, or, we, or they go off to the great white throne judgment, God will weigh it all out. And God will correct the errors of man's judgment with that is what is right. And at the, at the judgment seat of Christ or the great white throne judgment, the holy and righteous God will make it all correct. God will reveal how Jimmy Hoffa died and where he is and who did it. God will reveal Emily Earnhardt and wherever her where she ended up and what happened to her. The unsolved murders and the crimes that the police, because of evidence, has not found God will correct all that with his holiness. And if the police and the judicial system has erred blindly or openly erred in sinning, whether they had no idea or they knew, God will settle it at the, at the judgment seat of Christ and God will settle it at the great white throne judgment that in the end, finally, before the, the, the new heavens and the new earth, all that will be right and correct by God. And that the fact is, if a man goes to prison, and I've been in the prison ministry, if he's gone to prison and it's a wrong, that just shows the error of man. Jeremiah 4. Jeremiah 4. Last one. You know why people go to jail wrongly? And you know why people don't go to jail that need to go to jail wrongly? Because man's a sinner and he's not God. They were set up in the priests, the judges, and Moses said, if you can't handle the case, bring it to the, to the Levites, bring it to Moses, and Moses and the Levites will bring it before God. Jeremiah 4.22 for my people is foolish. <laughs> That's God speaking about Israel. They have not known me. Boy, you can put that on some churches today. You can put that on some denominations today. They are sottish, stupid, foolish children. They have none, they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. That's religion. They know how to say the rosary, and yet they have no understanding of the true and holy righteous God in heaven. They know how to clean their statue. And yet they have no Knowledge of Psalm 115 that says that that statue is an abomination and it's lifeless and the ones who made the, the statue is just like them, dead without life. And when you are in religion and you are doing evil and when the Bible says call no man your father and you dress that guy as father and he has no children, rightfully, You're the one that's done evil. And we are in the case of wise to do evil, but no knowledge of doing good. And that's called religion. That's called science. We worship the god Lucy. 
And yet Lucy was dockered. Lucy was filed. Lucy was super glued. As with many of those bones you find in museums today. They are alive. But they are believed. And when God spells it out again by the Bible, and you ignore the Bible with a missile or the Koran or the Book of Mormon or the writings of Maker Barry, Maker Mary Baker Eddy or our Watchtower. When you've got a publication other than the King James Bible, which is correct and proper, well, you know what can be right by the King James Bible, but you are reading junk that God never authorized nor inspired. And when you sit under a priest, rabbi, pastor, or wherever that has no knowledge of the Bible himself, but of traditions and education against the Bible, and you listen to his nonsense and his false prophecy and his false teaching, you're getting evil and you're not getting good. And we are in the realm of Jeremiah chapter 4. We are in the realm of religion. We are in the realm of education. Because believe it or not, as I was taught in school, Paul Revere did not go writing that night, the British are coming, the British are coming. And that it was a man of the clergy that lied that George Washington cut down the cherry tree and told his father, I cannot. They're all lies. And a lie is a lie, except when it comes from a pulpit. And that is wrong. I sat under a, a, a Bible Baptist church, and there were lies coming out of that pulpit. And there was laughter, and there was joking, and there was lie and everybody <laughs> he's lying to you and you're wise to do evil and you don't even know and have understanding you're being lied to that's religion that's education that's science Come on, wake up. Get yourself a King James 1611 Bible. Get yourself saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Get yourself baptized after you are saved. Get yourself into a proper King James Bible church. And read your Bible and study your Bible daily. I have been saved since 1987. And I still do evil. Whether I want to do it or I accidentally do it. And that is why we have, if we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all righteousness. So what we have here today, we have the evil, we have the evil of America by taking God, the Creator, Jesus Christ, the Bible, out of the school, and we replace it with Dr. Spot. We don't correct the children. We replace it with evolution. We replaced it with sex education. We replaced it with violent video games. We have given no authority to our teachers. And then why are they rioting? Why are they having fires? Why are they stealing? 
because when they were in the grocery store and they had that pansy fit, you said, okay, after three seconds, time out, one, two, three, four, five, okay, you can have it. That's why. And then when I grew up, you did not have, all right, take the little boy out of the carriage, leave the carriage, get in the car, go home, have it out with mom with a yardstick, get back in the car, go back to the grocery store, say, I left my carriage in aisle three. Some of you had, you wait till your father finds out. And then your father went to town. That's not happening today. Because children are brought up today. 911, what's the emergency? My child, my, my mommy yelled at me. She slapped my fingers because I stole the cookie. She told me I, I couldn't have. Well, we'll get lawyers and DCO over there right away. That's the problem. That's one evil. And then we have the evil. We have the evil that not doing good. You loveth evil. You love to do evil. You don't care what the Bible says. You don't care what, what God said. You love to do that evil. You love it. And then we have an evil where God sees what we're doing. The eyes of the Lord in every place behold the evil. That's first because we prone to evil more than and the good. The evil that you're doing, whether you love it or not, you're battling it or you're just giving into it, God sees it. And then we have the virtuous woman who is not to do evil to her husband or her father. And then we have, if you're a God, you're a God, point out the evildoers and give them their just deserts. Go ahead. Do it. You're a judge. How did that guy end up in jail and he did not do the crime? How did that happen? And yet one day we're all going to face God in the judgment seat of Christ or the great white throne judgment. We're going to face God and he's going to write all right. He's going to wrong. He's going to write all wrong. You're so good. That's why there are people in jail that don't need to be jailed. That's why there are people who are free who need to be in jail. Because we're small G-O-D-S. We don't we don't have to sin. We Christians, do, we judge them. We don't know. We, we could be wrong. And then we have, you're wise to do evil. You know how to do evil because you don't know good. And that's religion. That's science. That's education. These poor kids in America don't know good. Many of them don't even have parents, and many more don't even have a father. Pretty much of them has not sat under Bible preaching. And they have been allowed to be rowdy as growing up as children, and all they've done is grown up to be what they were grown up to be. Because they had no Bible. And Dr. Spock, one of the ones that wrote the message, oh, don't, don't, don't hit your children. Well, he's in hell not having to see what's happening in this book. Until people fall off into hell. Well, how'd you get in here? Because you, you told him not to spank the child. One of those children that was not spanked put me in here. Why are you in hell? I was brought up to believe we were for monkeys. I was just defending myself in my monkey tree. There's going to be a lot more evil before the rapture of the church. And then there's going to be a devilish evil by the Antichrist. Relax. Ready? It's not going to get better. No way. And if it gets a little good, it'll come back to be worse. Because the Bible's correct. 
and man is not. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Unto the rapture, go in all the world and preach the gospel and pray that the Lord come. You going to get a gun? Your gun could be evil. What if you shot somebody, he died, and he was lost and went off into hell? I know. I won't stick anymore. But that's evil for this week. We got plenty more evil to talk about, Lord willing, next week.